Today we're gonna talk about another great add-on for Blender developed by Oliver Post. Human Generator is a versatile tool to create a human character in Blender with a lot of control over the creation process from gender, ethnicity, footwear, clothes, and everything else in between. During the creation process, you can literally customize every single part of the character from eye colors, height, body type, and much more. In addition to that, you can fine-tune the creation to your heart's content using the tools that the add-on offers. The whole process can be divided into two phases, the creation phase and the finishing phase. To start using the add-on, first you need to choose the human gender. After that, you have 37 starting human presets between males and females, and you can choose from black, Asian, Caucasian, and Hispanic. Now we're gonna go over the first phase, which is the creation phase. When it comes to height, you can choose how tall your character is and you can choose a height between 1.5 and 2 meters. For face deformation, you can choose the shape of your human's upper face like upper skull, eyes, ears and nose. And you can do the same for the lower face when it comes to the jaw, chin, mouth and cheeks. For skin material settings, you can choose between several skin material presets, or you can customize its skin parameter individually, such as tone, saturation, freckles, beauty spots, and age. And you can choose to activate the subsurface scattering for the skin shader for much more realistic materials. But this one is recommended to be kept off until your last render, because it will tank your performance if you are not using a powerful machine. The skin textures also come in 4K and 8K resolution. For eye settings, you can customize your eye colors and you can choose between 12 new eyebrows. To do this, you can shuffle through them by clicking the left and right buttons. When it comes to hairstyles, you can choose among 19 hairstyles such as curly, long, regular, and short hair. In addition to that, you can also choose facial hair. You have 9 pre-made presets, but you can always customize every one of them to suit your needs. Also, if you feel that the human hair is not dense enough, that's because the hair trimmer is turned off on the viewport to optimize performance. After that, you can jump to the next phase. Secondly, the finishing phase. In this phase, you can do a lot of things, including cloth and footwear. Here you can pick your character's outfit and footwear, and you have quite a collection to choose from. The add-on comes with 16 clothing attire and 7 footwear item presets between casual, office, summer, winter, and so on. You can also edit the clothes material and patterns by selecting the clothing item you want to edit. As a result, this will change the UI material mode, and this can also be done with the other footwear items too, by the way. When it comes to posing, you can choose a pose of your character, and there are 24 poses that you can choose from. For expressions, you can also choose from 32 facial expression presets. All expressions are set up as shape keys, so you can animate all of them. You can also generate a face rig by clicking the Add Facial Rig button. This will allow you to either animate the face in pose mode, or use the Arc Kit, which allows you to import generated facial animations from an iPhone X or newer using a face tracking application such as FaceCap. Or you can use iFace MoCap, which is not supported by Android currently. By the way, you can always revert back to the creation phase by clicking the revert to creation phase button and this will undo all the finishing phase changes. It is also fair to mention that the add-on is demanding, so if you have a strong PC, this might be for you. Especially when you switch to EV render engine, things can be really sluggish and clunky, so a strong GPU is a must if you want to have a smooth experience and a good time working with this add-on but you can always deactivate some of the features that the add-on comes with to reduce the load on your GPU and CPU. If you need an easy solution for creating a realistic human character in Blender, a human generator add-on is definitely for you. This is the case if you don't want to be bogged down with the modeling and texturing processes and you just want some easy and intuitive solution to create 3D human characters for your games, films, VFX shots, this add-on got you covered. Also, the add-on is constantly being improved and updated with more content packs regularly. And actually, thousands of people have chose to buy this add-on and use it. If you are interested in it, you can find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.